Hello and welcome. This is the Visionary Leaders Collective, and you are joining us for the live recording of our podcast, where we meet every Monday at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Eastern, and we share all the incredible tools that doTERRA offers us so that we can become the healers in our own home. My name is Erin Fugate. I'm joined by Aisha Harley, Ariana Harley, and Dr. Josie Schmidt. And it's a party here every Monday. So invite your friends, invite your team, invite your customers, invite your peeps. It is good here. If you can't be live, you can always catch the replay on our Visionary Leaders YouTube channel, our Apple podcast channel, our Spotify channel. We're on Amazon and we're on Stitcher. We are no longer streaming to Facebook, however, but I think there's plenty of places that you can grab the recording. We're going to talk about a lot of protocols in this call as we do every week. And the way to get the memes and the images for the protocols is you need to be on our newsletter. So go to hellovisionary.life and jump on the newsletter. We send an email out every Wednesday. You get the call recording. You get an update of what next week is going to bring. We've been adding meta power testimonies in there and you get a link to our Google Drive where we house all the memes from every call that we do on Monday. So tune in over there. We're gonna start our call today. The subject today is Valentine's Day DIY gift ideas. And we're gonna start the call with a meditation with passion oil. So if you have passion oil, grab it. I like to use the touch because it is a spicy oil. So if I'm gonna be putting it up close to my face, if you don't have the touch, it's okay. You can just smell from the bottle. If you don't have your passion oil, grab whatever oil is within reach. They are all good for us. And it's always a good idea to take a few deep breaths with an essential oil. So the way I meditate with an essential oil is I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand, rub my hands together and slowly sink into closing my eyes and taking a few deep inhales. We're going to take a deep inhale of passion and then an exhale, letting any stress or anxiety go from your body, a deep inhale, coming present in your spirit, exhaling, and one more inhale. Now, as you take that final inhale of the oil, just notice where the aroma travels in your body. You can even ask the essential oil aroma to show you a place in your body where you have stuck emotion. Feel free to take some more inhales if you need help centering in that part of your body. And when you find where that center is, Maybe it's your belly or your heart center. Go ahead and place your hands there. Maybe it's the back of your neck. Just follow your intuition. And ask that emotion if it wants to be witnessed. Maybe ask it if it's a color. What color is it? Is it a shape? Is it a song? Is it a plant? Just anything that emotion wants to show you. And now imagine a waterfall, beautiful, cool, crisp, cleansing water washes over that part of your body releasing and soothing that emotion, letting it be metabolized through your cells and released through your breath. And the final inhale of passion, giving gratitude to your body, your mind, your spirit, your emotions and the plants for helping to heal us. 
And on a count of three, we're going to blink our eyes open and begin our call. One, two, three, your eyes open. You are refreshed and grounded and ready to learn. Thank you, I'm gonna turn it over to Aisha. Ah, thank you, Erin. Hello, everybody, and welcome. Well, as we just experienced the power that essential oils have immediately on our entire limbic system. Give me a, a heart or a raise of hands or a yes in the chat. If you quickly felt a shift in your state of being. Yeah, look at all those hearts, right? So literally essential oils can change our state in literally a few minutes, maybe even a few seconds. And today we're going to talk, I'm very excited about this subject, about how to use essential oils as an aphrodisiac. An aphrodisiac is something that stimulates our sexual desire. And whether your sexual practice is with yourself or with another person or whatever your preferences are, essential oils are an amazing tool to bring in to enhance your experience. Because one of the keys, I believe, to kind of getting into that space of pleasure is to becoming absolutely present in the moment. The more we can drop into our body and get out of our mind, the more we can really drop into our heart and into that state of pleasure. <clears throat> and essential oils can help us do that. So there was even a study, <clears throat> excuse me, by Dr. Alan Hirsch. He's the director of Chicago's Smell and Taste Research Center. And they actually studied the ability of aroma to enhance libido and sexual arousal. And I do not actually know all of the oils that they studied, but they found that lavender had the greatest effect. Now, I don't know that doTERRA was around when they did this study. So I'm going to argue that there's some other oils that would probably be really high up there. And I'm going to go over, um, I, if I have time, I have eight different oils that I want to cover. And then Aaron is going to share some really wonderful recipes. So these are oils that you could put by the bed stand, that you could put in your diffuser, that you could make different blends with. You can make your own um, like lube or massage oil. And so please know that you have the freedom to pick the smells that you're the most drawn to, but we want to kind of guide you in what oils to choose from. So Essentially, these essential oils can help stimulate your libido. I spoke to that. They're going to arouse the senses. They can actually help improve your sexual desire. They can also, by dropping you out of your head and more into your body, they can help um, remove inhibitions. And then they can also just create a wonderful environment, which will increase your sexual pleasure. So the first oil I want to talk about is rose. Rose is the oil of divine love, and it is the oil of the highest vibration. It is a heart healer. It creates a space of divine grace, and it really helps connect us with divine love. And I also want to share some very exciting news because we just found out today that we have a special and when you buy a bottle of rose, you're going to get a free bottle of jasmine. <laughs> Josie's holding those up in the window there. Aaron, make sure and join us next week because Ariana and her oils A to Z team are going to do a deep dive into jasmine. So I'm just going to touch on it for a moment today. But jasmine is the oil of sexual purity and balance. It natures a healthy sexual balance and helps balance the sexual forces. And I know like they're going to spend an hour talking about Jasmine. It is my sister Ariana's most favorite oil. It's many people's favorite oil. It is pure bliss. Um, so again, you buy a bottle of rose, you're going to get a free Jasmine and happy Valentine's day from doTERRA. They're so good to us. 
The other oil that's a really powerful one is sandalwood. And I actually love rose and sandalwood together. That is just pure divinity in, in my mind. Um, sandalwood is actually a really good oil for balancing testosterone levels in both men and women. It's a very erotic aroma. It promotes emotional openness and increases physical sensuality, and it creates unprompted interaction and helps lovers actually get out of a sexual slump. So if you're in a sexual slump, which can certainly happen when you've been in a relationship for a long time with the same person, one thing you might want to do at night or in the afternoon is just start diffusing some sandalwood and rose in your home. Like start diffusing that throughout the day, every day, uh, diffuse it in the bedroom at night, like give it a few days, let it just like penetrate the senses and, and do its magic. Um, so that would be a really good oil if you're feeling stuck. Another lovely oil is clary sage. Clary sage now on the opposite of testosterone is going to help promote healthy estrogen balances. It's also an oil that's going to lower cortisol levels and promote relaxation. And it has very sedative properties. Now, another reason people cannot get out of their head is due to high cortisol levels. You know, when you want to go to bed at night and you're friggin' exhausted, but you can't sleep, that's because you have so much cortisol pumping through your system that you can actually turn the brain off. And when we're, you know, soaking or sinking into that place of, you know, like sexual pleasure, it's really hard to do that when the brain is racing and your cortisol levels are really pumping. So it's, it's, if that's something that's challenging for you, like you could literally start with a meditation with Clary Sage and inhale and like, give your body a few minutes to like settle down. Like you could do that as a practice with your partner, like do a meditation. Um, you can sit spine to spine. You can look at one another in the eyes. You can close your eyes and just face one another. You can lie down and hold hands and literally just practice sinking your breath into unison is a wonderful way to get out of your brain and into your body. Um, another really very stimulating and erotic oil is black pepper. This is something that adds zest and liveliness. It's very warming. It's very strengthening and it really penetrates and can renew the flames of passion. It can be one that can be nice in different stimulation blends on a, just a tiny little amount. You don't need very much. And Aaron's going to talk about recipes, but you definitely, especially these hot and spicy oils, you really want to dilute them down before putting them on your body. Because also cinnamon is another one of those oils. It's very warming. It's very stimulating. It's very erotic, but it can also be very hot. So you want to make sure it's properly diluted. And cinnamon is the oil of sexual harmony. It supports the reproductive system and a good point to put oils is actually on the big toe and the outside of the ankle. There's some reflexology points that actually support the libido. Um, and we could possibly put those in the newsletter, or you can just Google uh, reflexology points to, to support the libido, and it will show you exactly where those points are. Um, cinnamon is also very warming and it's something that will really like spread a tingling sensation through the whole entire body. I just almost done and then I'm going to pass it over to Aaron, but we cannot forget Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang is extremely erotic. Now, not everybody loves Ylang Ylang. It's very sweet. Um, it's definitely an oil that grew on me over time, but it's, it's a really, really sexy oil. It's also, it's very calming. It's a very healing oil for the heart. In fact, Ylang Ylang is something that you can put on the pulse points of your wrist to help with blood pressure if you have high blood pressure. So it's, it's a heart healer. It's an oil that relieves anxiety. It fosters feelings of love, safety, and security. And again, it's a powerful aphrodisiac. It increases sexual desire and boosts attraction between lovers. 
It opens emotion and encourages a more sensual and erotic experience during lovemaking. And then Aaron already touched on passion, but passion is a really, really good oil to rekindle excitement. So again, if, if things are a little flat in, in your love life, passion is an oil that you could begin to wear and also diffuse um, and also use for that, that very reason of kind of stimulating the sexual energy between you and a partner. So with that, I'm going to pass the call over to Erin, and she is going to share some spicy recipes. Thanks, Aisha. Yes, this is so fun. Valentine's Day is a great time to really pull out your oils and use them. And it's a great time to make your Valentine's presents out of essential oils. So I'm going to share a few ideas with you for presents that you could give your partner, your lover, but also presents you could give your galantines. So if you have female friends that you just absolutely love, you can make them a special gift as well. I'm going to start with essential oil chocolates, because when you think of Valentine's Day, don't we often think of chocolate? And instead of going to the store and buying a box of chocolates that probably has lots of yucky chemicals and corn syrup in it, you can make your own. And it is so easy. I've put a recipe in our Google Drive, um, but I'm gonna read through it right now so you get an idea of how simple it is. You're just gonna take chocolate chips. So just find yourself an organic chocolate chip that you like, and you're gonna get coconut oil, you can put nuts or not, and then you're going to pick an essential oil that you want to flavor your chocolate with. Now have fun with these essential oils. Probably the most simple would be wild orange and peppermint, but you could do cinnamon. You could do, if you have pure rose or pure jasmine, you could do something like that. You could put some black pepper in there. You could make them aphrodisiac chocolates, just play around with it. But pretty much you just put the chocolate chips in, um, a double boiler. So all that is, is a saucepan with water and then a stainless steel bowl on top. And you put the chocolate chips in the bowl and you turn the water on as the water gets warm, it's going to melt the chocolate chips. So then you want to mold. So I would go to, you know, the dollar store or look on Amazon, or maybe you have one in your house and find a cute heart mold. And you would mix the essential oil in with the melted chocolate if you're me, you're gonna put extra Himalayan or Celtic salt in there. You might wanna throw some of our Madagascarian vanilla in there and your essential oils. You only need a drop or two of oils. You really don't need that much. I made chocolates once where I did frankincense, ylang ylang, and cinnamon, and wild orange, and they were so good. So really have fun with this. Then you just pour it in the molds. And um, you've got your coconut oil in there and you put it in the fridge and it turns into beautiful little chocolates for you. So you could make super cute chocolate gifts for all your friends, for your partner, for your kids. Now, another fun gift to make would be pure fume. So perfume, as we know, has hormone disruptors, um, that's cancer causing. You don't want to use perfume. If you can get away from using perfume, you're going to be so much healthier for it. And we can make beautiful pure fumes out of our essential oils. All you need is a roller bottle, some coconut oil. I'm going to have recipes in the Google Drive for you. And then you do your essential oils. So here are a couple of ideas. This one sounds delicious. I definitely want to make it. Neroli, 10 drops of neroli, eight drops of passion, and 10 drops of citrus bliss in a 10 milliliter roller filled up with a carrier oil. Another option would be um, to make something that's more manly. So you could make your man a per cologne, <laughs> perfume cologne. And a great um, men's aroma is vetiver, bergamot, and Siberian fur. So you can play around with that, maybe even host a make your own perfume night with some friends so that they can all make Valentine's Day gifts. You can also make bath salts. Making bath salts is so fun and so easy. 
you're just gonna get yourself some Epsom salts, fractionated coconut oil. I like to put plants in there like rose dried rose petals or dried calendula flowers. You can go to your local herb store and see which herbs are pretty and which ones speak to you. And then you can put your essential oils in the bath salt. So all the oils that Aisha talked about with the exception of cinnamon, the hot oils could be put in a bath. So you could do ylang ylang and sandalwood would be lovely. Maybe some black pepper in there play around with making bath salts. Those would make great gifts. Now, Aisha also talked about using essential oils as a part of an erotic massage. And I have some recipes for that for you. I'm gonna give you one, but I have put a few other in the Google Drive. So make sure you're on our email list so you get it. You would fill up a two ounce glass bottle with carrier oil. I just use fractionated coconut oil. It's great, but if you wanted a different carrier oil, you could use that too. Fractionated coconut oil is good because it doesn't have an aroma and it absorbs quickly. It uh, feels really nice on the body. Some people really love to use the Yarrow Palm Body Serum as a base for their erotic massage oil, AKA lube. But please remember if you are using condoms, you don't want to use a vegetable-based oil or essential oils because it would break down the condom. So this is only if you are um, not using condoms in your partnership. If you are, you can still use essential oils as a full body massage. Just be careful that you're not getting it um, in your private parts. But you can use these essential oils in your private parts and it's wonderful. It's warming. It's it's invigorating, it's relaxing. As long as they're diluted enough, it is not um, upsetting to that sensitive skin. I do recommend that you always do a patch test because some people have skin sensitivities and you wanna find that out before you start playing around with essential oils. Here's our recipe for an erotic massage oil slash lube. You would take two ounces of a carrier oil and then you would add two drops of passion, three drops of sandalwood, two drops of ylang ylang and three drops of clary sage. And that can just live next to your bed. The other reason that the Yarrow Palm body serum is great is it's in a pump bottle. And so it's really easy access next to your bed. Um, so I'm gonna give the everybody a little bit of a chance to share if anyone else has great recipes, but remember that I have filled the Google Drive for you. There's so much good stuff in there. Um, but definitely curious if Dr. Josie or Ariana, there was anything you wanted to add to the convo before we move on to the next section. Yeah, I would just like to remind you to also use your diffuser by the bed. Um, there are studies, our sense of smell is 80% more powerful than any of our other senses. And so, and there's studies about, I just was looking at a study that men can smell when a woman's sexually aroused. Like there's so much olfactory connection that we have that I think we're not even conscious of all the, the time. So using a diffuser blend by your beds, um, just smells that you love. I love vetiver as another oil that I love for sexuality and for grounding. Um, also, if you have any sexual feelings and you just want to feel more safe. Like if there's any feelings where sometimes sexuality is an unsafe feeling for you, using aromatherapy can help you um, come into your body, establish that your body's a safe space and that you're surrounded in a safe space. So there's tons of diffuser recipes. I would say you have gotten some info on great sexual oils here, but just use your favorites, um, something that makes you feel good. Of course, jasmine is is my favorite. Jasmine and rose are are so yummy, and um, so that would be what, uh, just a little addition that I would add in. I can go off of that, and maybe this will segue into the next section. I'm just so excited that DoTerra did this little bogo for us for two days. Um, how wonderful! And for everyone, you know, these are more expensive oils. And I know there's a lot of people who don't have rose yet or jasmine or, or some of many of the florals. And they are such a amazing um, 
energy, as we've talked about, to bring in to your palate and your medicinary of use with, with this beautiful plant medicine. And so the entry point, you know, there's pure rose, which is very expensive. And there's this tea, steam distilled jasmine that is pretty expensive. And so to use these touch forms as your entry point is wonderful. And they're still kind of up there in price. So to sort of make that leap right now and say, okay, I'm going to buy, I think the roses, is, is it 70 or $75? Yeah. The touch. And then you get this about $50 Jasmine. It makes it just like a no brainer as this is the time to jump. Um, so I really want to encourage you and to reach out to any of your friends, you know, who have accounts or people who don't have, you know, a full pellet of oils is this is the moment to, to broaden that. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do a shout out and to know that this touch version, these in their diluted with the carrier oil, they are not diluted. Like this is what we've been working with. This is, these are the ones that I love to work with and, uh, and use. And so, um, it, what a gift. Thank you, doTERRA. Yes. And as we transition into the next part of the call, where we're going to talk about strategy around using this buy one, get one free flash sale in your doTERRA business, Emily Wright has been talking about this a lot in her stories. If you don't follow Emily Wright on Instagram, I would recommend that you do because she shares things in her stories that are I don't know if you're going to hear them anywhere else. And one of the things she shared was her dog got this um, injury on its paw and it was an ugly open wound that really needed some special care to heal. And she was applying oils to it to heal. And you will never guess the oils she used. I'm surprised. Cilantro, Arbor Vitae, and Rose. And I wrote her a message. I responded to that. And I was like, I'm so surprised at that oil choice. I never would have thought to put cilantro on a wound. And she said that John Hopkins has been studying our oils and they have discovered that cilantro, arborvitae, and rose are more powerful against microbes than even oregano. So when you are thinking about oils to fight those little buggers that can get in there and infect the skin, you actually want to reach for things like rose. There's been countless stories about kids getting, you know, that rash that they can get when they jump on like a bouncy house. It's more like a, um, I think it's a staph infection and applying rose to that eradicates it. So we're talking about Valentine's day, but I just want to bring in with this flash sale that rose and jasmine are actually an important oil for your medicinary. Because if you have a wound, if your kid has a wound, if they have a skin issue, a pet has a skin issue, rose is gonna be the most powerful ones. And then you want jasmine too, because what jasmine does so well is help someone heal from trauma. So if you have a car accident or a sports injury or something happens to a loved one where they are traumatized, you're gonna to wanna to have that jasmine on hand. Erin, and in the feed, Aisha reminded us of how important jasmine is for our dog and animal friends. Yes, their you're favorite so right. Oils, right, with anxiety, trauma. Mm -hmm. I would not go through the 4th of July with a dog without jasmine. They and then absolutely it, love it. Sorry to interrupt you. One other thing to think about with rose and jasmine and lang lang and some of the florals is if you're thinking, what oil should I use right now? All the florals that are sweet have the energetic feeling of a rocking motion. So if you have the feeling like you would want to be cradled or held or um, comforted, like a mother's energy, that's when you want to bring in the florals. And so you can do that for yourself. And you can also do that for your children. We were just talking about dogs, your loved ones, anybody that feels like they need to be comforted. And they've also done studies with jasmine and rose. They're highly euphoric. And so anytime that you're feeling really down or sad, or you just need some comfort and some happiness and joy, our passion blend 
they'll um, bring the feeling of euphoria when we smell them. And that's why we stop and smell the roses. I mean, that's why that, you know, that saying is connotated also with taking time and slowing down. But there's a reason why that we as humans stop and smell flowers. So true. Thanks, Ariana. So just a reminder that next week, Ariana is going to deep dive into jasmine, specifically the steam distilled jasmine, so we can understand the difference. It's going to be a great chance to really learn about that magical oil. This is the part of the call where we transition into teaching you how to share your love of doTERRA and earn an income. So if you would like to get your products paid for, if you would like to grow as a person through personal development, if you would like to learn leadership skills, most importantly, if you would like to connect with a community that is filled with purpose-driven people and people dedicated to healing, engaging in the doTERRA business is a great idea. You can also create extra income and that income can be used for investing in your future. I love the doTERRA business opportunity. I think it's for everyone. And there's a place for you here, no matter what. So we invite you to hang around for the next 20 minutes or so, where we talk about how you can earn an income with doTERRA and what a perfect time to talk about it because doTERRA has given us this flash sale of buy Rose Touch, get Jasmine Touch for free. So I thought it would be a great opportunity for us to talk a little bit about strategy on how you use this flash sale as a conversation starter with family and friends, but also if you already have customers on your team or you already have team members. So we're gonna start with those of us that have team members. So we are a leader in doTERRA, meaning there are people in our organization that are also out sharing doTERRA and building a business. So as a leader in doTERRA, it is not your job to micromanage people or to babysit people. You don't have to feel overly responsible. You're not a boss. Sometimes I see this become a little bit of a hiccup for people where we think it reminds me of like, I'm in a hen house and I'm trying to keep all the chicks together. That will drive you crazy. I would encourage you not to do that. Instead, you are a leader. And what a leader does is they first uh, lead by example. And they also invite people to the resources. So this is a great time for you to send out communication, whether that's through personal phone calls, a text message, email, Facebook message, however you usually talk with your team members and just say, did you see doTERRA has a flash sale? And if they're like, no, then direct them to where they would get that information because we don't want our team to always rely on us to kind of give them the information. We want to raise up leaders who are self-reliant. So that's what I would do is reach out to them and go, did you see there's a flash sale? And if they say yes, awesome. You can ask, do you want to strategize or talk about how we're gonna use this in the business? If they say, no, they didn't see there was a flash sale, then make sure that they're getting emails from doTERRA that they're connected to the team app, that they know about the doTERRA Facebook page and the Instagram and all the places that we get the information, make sure they're on the visionary leaders email because we will be sending out an email about that as well. And then your team members who want to, you can get on the phone and strategize with them. You can make sure they're on this call. If they weren't on this call, you can send them the recording. Then your, your next stage of contacting would be all your customers. So anyone who you have enrolled, they're going to be less in touch. You know, if someone's building a doTERRA business, they're probably more in touch. They're probably paying attention to the doTERRA emails. They probably already know, but customers may or may not know about the sale. It's actually our job to tell our customers. So I like to do this from um, a multifaceted place. I will post about it on social media multiple times. I can't just do it once and expect all my customers to see it. So I'll post about it. It'll be in my stories. We'll post about it in customer groups, send out emails. Then you can also send personal text messages, make phone calls. And it's all 
from a place of service. Like, hey, I know that you have a dog. And did you know that Jasmine is so good for dogs and anxiety and you can get it for free? So you want to have that personal touch with people, or you might reach out and say, Hey, I know you're really into DIY. And did you know that you could make your own perfume? Wouldn't it be fun to have a perfume making class? And doTERRA has this special sale so you can get Rose and Jasmine for a really good price. So you kind of fine tune it to your customers. Then you also want to reach out to people who are not yet customers who have been expressing interest in the oils and tell them this is a really great time to get started. If somebody spends 150 on their first order, they get their enrollment fee waived. So buying Rose at $70 and then a few other essential oils could be a great starter package. So you could even design some starter packets and use your link generator and send that out to your potential customers. It's also a great time to do Facebook Lives or Instagram Lives or host a live class around the subject that you're most interested in when it comes to Rose and Jasmine. So you could have a class about sexual health. You could have a class about pets. You could have a class about healing from trauma and soothing your central nervous system. You could have a DIY class around some of these different subjects we talk to you about. So those are a few ideas that I have, and I'd love to hear from the other leaders on the call if you have any ideas to share. Aisha, Josie, Ariana, anything to add? Hmm. Well, I was- You've covered so much, Erin. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like writing some things down. Good, good. <laughs> I got motivated as you were talking, Aaron, and we're sending text out to people that I um, know. And there were two people that I know, like one friend said she wanted to get Rose recently. And then another new member I have had been talking about wanting to get Jasmine. So just that mindfulness too of like, hey, this is a beautiful time. I love to save money. I'm an economic economical shopper. Um, so it's like, Hey, this is a perfect time. If you want to get that Jasmine, why not get Rose and Jasmine together and get the Jasmine for free? So I felt super motivated and was in action as we were speaking. So, um, and I think just those personal messages, as you were saying, Aaron, it makes people feel loved. It makes them, you know, it's like, Hey, I'm thinking about you. And also I was listening to what you were needing or wanting or saying, like knowing someone has a dog with high anxiety and saying, Hey, I just learned that this could help your animal with anxiety is, is a really loving act, you know? Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, so many people are struggling with anxiety in this time, especially our youth. So, you know, what a beautiful act to just mention to people, here's a tool that can help you. You know, many people are always, you know, looking for help and looking for tools. You know, I want to feed off of that because beyond just today, we have this amazing call every week. And oftentimes I'll look at what our subjects are. And I think, who do I know that would actually really take interest in this particular call? And I'll send them out an invite and I'll say, hey, we're going to be live. We're going to be talking about oils and aphrodisiacs or this topic or that topic. If you can't join us live, I can send you the recording after. So part of this business is really being of service, not getting out of your own way and not feeling like you're being a pest and bugging somebody but genuinely caring and sharing information as it comes up is, you know, as it pertains to people in your life, even if they don't have essential oils, it could be a wonderful way to say, Hey, you know, we're talking about some spicy topics about Valentine's day, join us, or here's the recording. If there's a call that you're on that you love and you're like, wow, this, this call was really amazing. You can go get the link and send it out to friends and family. I mean, I think we're so we're so easy to share things that we love, right? Like if I, if I have a podcast that I love, I post it on Facebook. I'm like, Hey, you know, or I just watched this YouTube video, or I just ate at this restaurant. 
don't be afraid to do that about what you love about doTERRA as things come to mind and you feel inspired to share. So keep that in mind. Like I would actually challenge all of you, you know, before we do calls to say, who do I think would actually really dig this topic or, you know, after the call say, oh, well, this is really amazing. Who could I send out the recording to, to share this with? And then also as Ariana was saying, Rose and Jasmine are two oils that are a pure gift. And so this special today is really, really special. So don't be shy because you know how many people, it's a, a big bummer when the sale's over and then someone says, why didn't you tell me? Like, mm -hmm. why didn't you tell me? Because not everybody is, you know, cued in with Facebook and staying, uh, you know, staying afloat with every single special that comes out. So be of service, share, you know, and, and don't be afraid to do so. Yeah. I love that. I love, there's a couple of things that you and Ariana are bringing up that I'd love to highlight. And one is it's the relationship building that this is all about. When we, if we send out a text message or a post on social media and all it says is hey, you can get Jasmine for free if you buy Rose. That's generic and it doesn't tell the person what's in it for them. And it doesn't, it's not interesting. I scroll past those posts. If somebody texted me just, hey, you can get free Rose and Jasmine or free Jasmine if you buy Rose, I'll be like, oh, that wasn't really personal. Personal, but if I come across a post on Facebook that starts with, I used to really struggle with anxiety. And this is how it affected my life. And here's like a little story. And then I say, and then I started using essential oils, specifically rose and jasmine. And I found that they were so soothing to my central nervous system. And then you can say, I've just found out that there's a way you can get these two oils for the price of one. If you're interested, put a comment below or a similar thing in a text message. I think it's just in all of our communications, our emails too. Sometimes I'll get emails from brands that I follow and the brand will just be selling to me. They'll just be like, oh, buy, buy these jeans, get a second pair for free, or we're having a Black Friday sale and nothing about that is interesting. But if I get an email from a brand or a salesperson who's actually giving me a story and actually bringing me into the story of the brand, the story of the product, then I'm leaning in and I'm interested. So that's one of the reasons doTERRA sells oils through the wellness advocate model, because they know if the essential oil is just sitting on the shelf, people aren't going to necessarily know what to do with it or be pulled into it. But if they have Florence and Sarah and Tara and Craig out there sharing their personal stories with their friends and family and their community, then people are going to have that emotional connection to the brand and to the products. And they're more likely to then get involved in the brand story. So just have that in mind when you're posting on social media, when you're writing emails, when you're making personal connections, you're a storyteller. And you can go to the extreme if you really want to get good at marketing and branding. I would encourage you to be really clear about your personal story. It doesn't mean that you have to have this big, incredible story that's all scripted and you could get up on stage and wow people with it. It just means that you have some mindfulness and some attention around it. Who do you help? What do you help them do? Most often, the person you help is yourself five years ago. So who were you? five years ago? What were you struggling with? What was happening in your life? What was your breaking point where you were so frustrated that you would, if you could find the solution, you would do it, but you didn't know what the solution was. What were you up late at night Googling? That's most likely who you're speaking to now. And it requires that you get a little bit vulnerable and a little authentic, but it, and it can sometimes be hard because when we get away from a painful place in our life, we don't want to think about it anymore. Right. Me five years ago 
I was a brand new mom and my anxiety, which I thought I had healed with essential oils, reared its ugly head in the biggest way in postpartum anxiety. I was so struggling. I was laying in bed with a little baby freaking out. And it was actually the year that Rose came out on the marketplace. And I got a bottle of Rose while I was laying in my postpartum bed. And it saved me from that anxiety. So that's an example, you know, of a story where I'm speaking to who I was before. So just food for thought. Speak in stories, use connections, but you can always tie everything back to who you were five years ago so that you're kind of a lifeline and you're reaching out to that person that's currently in that place and you're helping them because you've found a solution, you've found something that helps. So I, I know it can be easy to throw up a picture like a corporate picture of Rose and Jasmine and say, buy one, get one sale today, contact me. But I would challenge you and invite you and encourage you to dig deeper than that and to dig into the story. What has Rose and Jasmine done for you personally? What powerful experience have you had? And if you haven't yet, you can talk, you can speak more broadly. What have the oils done for you? And really go to the story because the story is what is going to have people lean in, get them inspired. They're going to want to learn more and you become magnetic because then when someone sees you and they look at Ariana and they go, oh, Ariana has made it through the fire that I'm currently standing in. And you know that you can reach your hand out and there's a leader there on the other side who's ready to pull you out. That's how you then become a magnetic leader and people want to learn from you and they want to be in your presence. And then that's how you can go and build a powerful team of other people growing this business with you and sharing these oils. So I know I get on my soapbox sometimes, I'm sorry, but I just... I don't want to see us all doing taking the easy route and just throwing up a generic post or sending out a generic text message or sending a generic email. I want us all to dig a little bit deeper with this and have some powerful storytelling happening as we're telling people about this flash sale. In any questions or other comments about this subject? Let me just check in the chat. I also love, um, depending on the person and, and how it's presented, but I love sharing our co-impact sourcing videos. So I'm a person that is really passionate about where my money flows into and what I'm supporting. And I really like to, um, to honor that energy, right? So I don't want to be supporting slave labor or something like that. And so I love, like, if we look at the video of the people in India picking the jasmine flowers in the early morning and sharing with people also that when you purchase rose, when you purchase jasmine, that you are helping farmers you know, I'm in Portland, Oregon, but I'm helping a family in India. I'm helping to improve land quality. I'm helping to improve environmental protection. I'm helping to improve children getting education. And so that's also, I think, a really powerful um, message that's close to my heart and is beautiful to share as well. And it makes you feel good. It's like, wow, I'm, I use, ja I mean, I'm drink Jasmine tea. I'm always covered in Jasmine. Jasmine's in my pocket. I mean, it is just one of my very favorite oils because I do suffer from anxiety and it's a way to calm my nervous system. I'm highly sensitive. So it's a way to calm my nervous system immediately and act as a human diffuser, but then also know, wow, like this is helping heal my body and it's helping to heal energy in the world too. So share those stories as well. And if you haven't already, look at our co-impact sourcing stories. And if there's oils you're passionate about, get curious, 
where is this coming from? Who are the people who are growing it? What is the farmers doing? How is it harvested? Um, I think that can be a lot of fun too for content. Yeah, I love that. You're giving me a really great idea for anyone who's super passionate about co-impact sourcing. Well, first of all, you could make that your whole brand focus. That could be everything you talk about on social media um, and in your emails, but it could also be the coolest workshop series, an in-person workshop where you come together and you learn the story behind the oils. So one week, this could be in person, it could be on Zoom. One week you're talking all about rose and you're really diving into the sourcing and the people and the plant and the folklore. So just kind of an invitation and a permission if you need it to make your doTERRA business yours. I have a friend who is a really amazing business coach. Her name is Tiffany Carter. If you want to follow her on Instagram, she has a podcast too. And she gives this great teaching and I've really been thinking about it a lot lately. And it's, you actually want to be different than anyone else in your industry. So, so often we look around at social media and we go, oh, if I want to be successful at doTERRA, I need to do it. Ariana's doing, or I need to do what Aaron's doing, or I need to do what, you know, some other doTERRA success story is doing. And then we go and we become a cookie cutter of them. And that is just boring, right? Because the internet's filled with the same stuff. So if you want to stand out, you actually want to talk about the stuff that nobody else is talking about in a way that no one else is talking about it. And in a way that is so true to your heart and your passion that it's absolutely magnetic. So if you've been struggling with finding your voice in this doTERRA um, ecosystem, this is just a little nudge to go, well, what if I, what if I was really me and I really dove into the area that lifts me up and how could I be different and how could I stand out? Um, it's something that I've been meditating on, I've been thinking on, I've been trying to infuse in my content, and I hope that helps you as you go out there and you share doTERRA. I'd also like to say, if you want, sorry, sorry to interrupt you, um, if you want some inspiration, you're not familiar, I'll just use rose or jasmine, um, because that is our great BOGO right now. Um, we have archived our A to Z calls for you on hellovisionary.life and Rose and Jasmine are there and we deep dive for an hour. Um, you can listen to it like a podcast and it has sourcing videos. We talk about all the ways to use the oil. So if you're just learning about the oils and you're new to them and you get overwhelmed, like, wow, you know, it's so easy. Like I did this at first, like, Erin knows so much and I should know so much. And I don't know that much about essential oils. I can't teach because I don't know enough. And I've coached a lot of people in that. They're like, well, I'll start my business after I re research and read all the books and learn about all the oils. I've got to do that first. I highly advise not doing that. We have so much information. You can Google things. You can send people. That's why we've created all of this content for you to share. So create your own content, of course, and find your own voice and also rely on us as resources so that you don't feel like you have to reinvent the wheel. So if you want to, if you get excited and you want to learn more about Jazz and Rose and say, what would be the talking points be? For me personally on this subject, um, then, you know, maybe I don't want to talk about sexuality or anxiety. Maybe I want to talk about something else. Um, I mean, I love the story of Emily Wright using the oils on her dog. I just cured an uh, infection on my sweetheart's toe. And I said, if you do what I tell you to do, you won't have to go to the doctor. And he said, the infection went away. Today it's healed. And I'm like, oh, what, you know, but of course he was trying to take the credit. He's like, I healed it all up. And I was like, great job, right? Like just saved you an emergency room visit. Just saved, you. sorry, knocking all of my oils over. Um, I just saved you, you know, who wants to go to the emergency room? So 
whatever your passion is, we have so much. So if you listen to the Jasmine call or the Rose call to start off with, then you can might, you might find a little plug of, ooh, that lights me up. That gets me excited. I know that the passion oil for my neighbor was how she started using doTERRA products. She later um, brought in adaptive and we had more conversations, but she just loved the smell of passion. And I, as an artist, love this using passion oil for creativity if I'm feeling stumped in a writing block. So we were talking about sexuality today, but our energy also comes, our creative energy comes from the same centers in our body. So that could be like, are you a writer? Are you a creative? Do you need a new idea? Do you have writer's block? Are you stuck on making a painting? Are you trying to redecorate your house and need some inspiration? Stuff like that you could bring passion in. So, so many ideas to just toss out there. But um, yeah, please use our resources because they are created for you. Yeah, that's great to point out. You know, when I first started with doTERRA, my weekly class was really just an excuse for me to learn one oil. That's how I did it. I would have people come over and I would say that we were going to learn about one oil and I would give them the, my notes from studying the oil. So that's how I relieved myself from feeling like I had to know everything. I treated it like a study group. And I was just reporting to the people who came to my house, like, oh, I researched lemon this week and look at everything I learned. So you can hack that fear that way. Like if you're worried about, I have to know everything, just out yourself and be like, I don't know everything I'm learning. Do you want to learn with me? And Ariana, you just stumbled upon another great idea for a type of a class or a brand. If you're a writer or an artist, your whole branding could be about removing writer's block, removing creativity blocks. You could have classes about inspiring, getting create, creative, removing your blocks with aromatherapy. So as we speak, you see whatever your thing is, whatever you're passionate about, go build your oil brand around that and be unique and stand out in the marketplace. You don't have to have every single person enroll with you. You just have to have your people enroll with you um, to create an incredible income with doTERRA and to change a lot of lives. So I hope this call has inspired everybody and gotten their creative juices flowing. Um, shall we look at what we're talking about next week? I have to look sure. it up, but if either of you know off the top of your head. Steam sure. still Jasmine, right? Oh, yeah, right. we're, we're going to be talking about, please join us on our A to Z call. I am joined by some amazing doctors and acupuncturists, and we are going to be deep diving into steam distilled Jasmine. Um, so if you're curious of what's the difference between the Jasmine touch and the steam distilled, we will let you know ways to use it. We'll talk about um, I'm going to add in a little more about our Jasmine touch too, because we just have the special. So if you're going to get that, then you can join us in the call. Um, if you're interested in the steam to still grab that and we will be talking about, well, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it. So join us. I'll give you a few hints. We're definitely going to be talking a little bit. I wanted to mention, um, some epigenetic information talking about Jasmine for anxiety sexual health, creativity, and so much more. So um, yeah, we'd love to see you there. So good. Well, thanks everyone. Thanks for a great call and being a part of this community. We love you and happy Valentine's Day.